If for whatever reason you did not like the look and feel of One UI 4.0 or have any other reason to go back, here is our guide on how to do that. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy exclusive and new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our quick tutorial on how to revert back to One UI 3.1 from One UI 4.0 beta. This process should be simple and straightforward. Firstly, you need the official Samsung Smart Switch desktop application for PC or Mac. We'll have a link in the description below for the download link to install on your desktop. As I'm on PC, I downloaded and installed the PC version for Windows. Next, head over to the Samsung Members app on your Samsung Galaxy S21 device. Click the settings icon on the top right, then go down to the One UI Beta Program Status section and click it. Once there, you'll see your status as active. Scroll down to section 11, which gives you a brief write-up of how to remove the beta program off your Galaxy S21 device. And we highly recommend you go through and read it. Once you finish with section 11, you will see the withdraw button, which once you click it will prompt the next screen with three paragraphs, which again, we highly recommend you read it to ensure you are prepared and ready. Then click next. After that, you'll be asked to select one of the reasons below of why you're withdrawing from the beta program. Once you select your reason, a final confirmation prompt will appear, which once you select confirm, means you have finally withdrawn from the beta program. Now you need to head over to your desktop PC, plug your Galaxy S21 device with a compatible USB cable to a compatible USB port on your computer. Once plugged in, Smart Switch will recognize your Galaxy S21 device with the option to downgrade your software to the latest official build of One UI, which in this case will be version 3.1 and also options for backup, restore and Outlook Sync. We very, very highly recommend you back up everything on your Galaxy S21 device before proceeding as a downgrade to One UI 3.1 will do a complete factory reset and delete everything of your Galaxy S21 device. Once backup is completed and you commence with the downgrade, note that due to the install size being roughly around six and a half gigabytes in total, this part can take some time relative to your internet speeds and PC specs. Once the downgrade is complete, you will see your Galaxy S21 device is fully reset with the startup process of a new device with no contents on there. Once in the main UI of the phone, head over to the software information section in the settings menu and you will see the software version is now on One UI 3.1 with Android 11. Be sure to stick around as we will be covering the official release of One UI 4.0 as we've been keeping an extensive and consistent coverage on Android 12. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. For the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.